Hey up, how you all doing? I hope you've had a really nice day. Um, it's been glorious weather here today, so wherever you are in the world, I hope you've had a nice sunny um, daytime and you've been spending some lovely time either by yourself, just recovering and recouping and getting yourself all organised for the next week and or with your family, just having a lovely time. Um, I sort of didn't really know whether to do this or not or what to talk about really but but one of the things I wanted to really discuss and I think it's more for me than it is <laughs> to support anybody else um, is alcohol now alcohol well actually cast your mind back cast your mind back to a time when you'd go out with your mates or you'd um, sit at home watching a movie with your fella or with your friends or with your family or whatever and you'd have like you know you'd have a lager two three lagers you'd have a bottle of wine um and you'd have it with crisps and you'd have it with chocolate and then you'd still have tea and supper and whatever the bloody hell you wanted to that day um and then fast forward to anorexia and fast forward to the fact that Anorexia then tells you that alcohol equates to equal calories. I remember once sat in a cafe with James, my husband, and um, well, it was like a it was in a cafe, it was a bar, and I had a smoothie because that was virtuous and wholesome and it was brilliant. And he had this, he had a pint of lager, and that we were joking and cracking on because my smoothie that I thought was virtuous and wholesome was actually more calories um, and more nutritionally dense than his lager. So I just went back but gave the smoothie back and ordered a pint of beer instead and um, I used to be a pint girl I used to drink proper pints like not just that dodgy British lager pints but like proper pint pints like Cameron's pints um and I've just been I've had a tough day today and and I've just been cooking I'm cooking for, for tea James and I are cooking we're doing a curry Amy's got a mate round it's all very chilled and I had to get James to pour my first glass of lager because for hours and hours and hours and hours I've been in an absolute spin because my head I try to try to really figure out what it is that I really really want and my my head was telling me you want a lager there's nothing wrong with that you want a lager but anorexia was like no 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 stop you're not having a lager if you have a lager you can't have tea and you want tea so you can't have tea so it was like it's bullshit total and utter bullshit and the absolute desire for opposite action. So I got my glass out that I like to use and I just said to James, I said, look, do me a favour, would you put fill that with a can of lager? And he has, and I've had two cans. And and But my head's like, rah, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? You're still having a tea, still having a tea. And what is that all about? And at what point did we start to equate liquid and drinks and actually not actually what the point what point did we start to equate pleasure with something we had to deny ourselves of? Now, I appreciate some of you listening to this. You might have other concerns and behaviours to do with alcohol, which means that you, you, you choose and don't choose to drink for a total different reason. And, and, and that is your journey, and I 100% support you on that. Um, but my journey doesn't involve that. My journey just is about restriction. And the restriction tonight, especially because of the mad spin my head's been in all day. I've had one of those, you know, you know, one of those days. Um, was not to have it, but I really wanted it. And I think that's the thing. Anybody else in the entire world without an eating disorder would just have this stuff. Their bodies would deal with this stuff. Their heads wouldn't even acknowledge this stuff. It isn't food. It isn't an addition that you have to equate for. It's just something you want. And if you want beer, and then you want tea, and then you want pudding, and then you want a couple of more beers, and then later on before you go to bed you fancy a bit of chocolate, or you fancy a donut, or you fancy some ice cream, or some toast, or whatever it is. That's another 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 video is toast. Anyway, but anyway. If any of that thing, then you you just have it our bodies just desire this stuff that's true that's why our heads think of it um but alcohol's a real sticky one for me 
I've never been really into it. I'm not overly keen on the taste of it, but I do love freezing cold lager on a boiling hot day like today. So I've had two, but both of them has been absolute, like just batter, 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 batter from the head point of view. But the only thing to do in a situation like that is to apply opposite actions and to do what it is that your absolute heart and your desire wants you to do. And then I'm going to have my curry and I'm going to absolutely love it and I'm going to have whatever it is afterwards that I fancy and it's going to be lovely. Um, part of me is a bit gutted that I've actually ran out of beer now so I can't have any more. But liquid calories... <sighs> If anyone's got any, any advice as to how to do it other than just doing it, stop seeing them as food and let's just do it. More importantly, the sun was shining. More importantly, look at how old I am. More importantly, however old you are, just give yourself a break. Just allow yourself a bit of freedom, a bit of space. You deserve it. We all deserve it. Let's just eat and drink and be merry. Take care everybody. Hope you're alright. See you soon.